It's not all that uncommon for a very rich person to buy a professional sports team. It is a little unusual if he got his start, though, in the box office selling tickets. Mike Hegedus has the story. Andy Appleby is not your average professional sports team owner. Oh, he has his idiosyncrasies. The Fenway Park replica in the backyard of his suburban Detroit, Michigan home is one. 75 to left, 90 to center, 83 to right. But by and large, while most team owners make their money elsewhere and buy a team for, say, 90% fun and 10% business, Appleby actually worked his way up inside the business of professional sports from the ticket booth. For 12 years, Appleby worked selling ticket packages for the then bad boy Detroit Pistons and other arms of the Palace Sports and Entertainment Group. He was marked for success. It was his ability to see what, what could be as opposed to what was that separated him from everybody else. He separated himself from the Pistons in 1998 and started General Sports, a marketing and management company consulting on stadium naming rights, bought and sold a minor league baseball team, but his goal was always a major sports franchise. We have to try to find that 90% business and 10% fun purchase, and they're very difficult to find here in America. So he went to Great Britain and four months ago bought the Derby County football soccer team. He got a new stadium, a 53-acre training academy, and 124 years of tradition for $100 million. And what would you be able to buy for like for the same relative price here? Not much. <laughs> yeah, not much. And, and therein lies the thing. The thing is just how good an investment soccer in general and a team like Derby in particular is. The number one sport in the world is the only professional one in which revenues are rising faster than expenses. And even though Derby won only once, yes, once this season. We set records for ineptitude this year in the Premier League. It sold out its last seven games, and Appleby, the one-time ticket seller, one of four U.S. owners of European clubs, was treated like a rock star. I always wanted to be that first person that maybe did it from the inside out, which means, you know, started in entry-level ticket sales and, and, and worked our way up. He may have reached his goal. For CNBC's High Net Worth, I'm Mike Higgins. Appleby plans to invest more money in the team and is looking for new revenue in the coming years by selling television rights.